What's up, guys? Welcome back to Tenorshare. If you installed the iOS 17 beta through Apple's developer program which last is released, you may decide to remove or uninstall iOS 17 due to stability issues. Just like when I upgraded to iPadOS 17, there was a black screen and stuttering phenomenon in the screen customization interface. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to downgrade iPadOS 17 beta without losing data step by step. Let's begin. First, you need to back up the day of your iPad. You can back up directly from your iPad to iCloud, but if your iCloud storage space is not enough, you can also back up to iTunes. Connect iPad to PC or MAC. Launch iTunes. Click Backup and confirm it. Wait for the backup process to finish, then you can start to downgrade. Then I will introduce two ways to downgrade the iPad version. The first more easily and convenient method is to use Reiboot. Reiboot is a powerful software that can help you upgrade, downgrade or repair the system of iPad just only one click. Launch Reiboot and click iOS Upgrade slash Downgrade. Select Downgrade and confirm it. Reiboot will automatically detect the lower version so that you don't need to go other website to download Ipswa file. Then click Download. After finishing download, just click downgrade then Reiboot starts to downgrade your iPad. Just one moment. Let's go ahead and set up. You can see Reiboot can easily fix your trouble. As you can see iPad downgraded to iPadOS 16. And the second method is to use iTunes. This is method is free but the operation is kind of complicated. You need to download the Ipswa file for the version of iPadOS which you're gonna downgrade to. Go to the Ipswa.me website. Click iPad and choose your iPad model. You will see the signed Ipswa file. Download it and wait for the download to finish. By the way, when we store iPad in iTunes, we should necessarily turn off Find My iPad settings. Go to the setting, choose your name, and tap Find My. Turn off Find My iPad. Then go back to iTunes. Hold Shift and click Restore iPad at the same time. You can browse your file. Choose the Ipswa file that you already download and click Restore. This step will take a while so keep the lightning cable connection of the iPad and desktop. Then you will see your iPad restart. Now set up your iPad. And as you can see your iPad is back to iPadOS 16. Now, we need to restore the data we made today. Because your backup file version is iPadOS 17, you must modify the backup. Press Win and R to call out the Run window. Type percent %user profile percent. Click Apple, select the Mobile Sync, and click Backup. Find the backup folder by the time. Scroll down and find Info, Plist File. Open it in Notepad. Then hold Ctrl and F, and type the product version. Below that we will see the iPadOS version is 17. Modify it to 16 and save it. And then let's connect the iPad. Go to iTunes to restore from the modified backup. Choose a backup to restore and you will get your data back. It will take a while. Here you go, you will find all data here. Well done! I hope this video helps you a lot. If you have other questions about iPad, you can find more tutorials on the Tenorshare channel. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to us. See you in the next video.